Learn about what's new in gardening at this weekend's Garden Expo. It's sponsored by the Tippecanoe County Master Gardener Association and Purdue Extension. Monique Fontaine is a Master Gardener, and she joins us here with details. Monique, thanks for coming in. Hey, thank you for having me today. Now, um, th we've been doing this for about five years, so what's new and exciting? We're really excited this year. We have a lot of new exhibitors coming. So if you've been coming to Garden Expo, you're going to see a lot of new things, a lot of new plant vendors, and a lot of new informational booths. Okay. Mention some of the new people that we might see this year. You're going to see um, a business called Fawcett and Flame, and they're from Lebanon. And we try and get area vendors to come in. And then we have um, some metalworking people from Huntington coming in called Altra 2000. And we have some new non-for-profit groups coming in. The Koi and Water Gardening Club will be there. And also, well, just a lot of new things. A Boy Scout troop is going to be there selling mason beehives. And so that you're going to be able to come and get a lot of information and see a lot of things and look at a lot of plants. Other than looking, we have opportunity to learn. I know you have a couple series like organic vegetables, roses, and different topics. Yes. Our first lecture, we kick off the day with our first lecture at 9.30 in the morning, and that's local grower Kevin Cooley talking about organic vegetable gardening 101. So like many people, even at the White House, they're putting in organic vegetable gardens this year, or even just general vegetable gardens, and you can come and learn how to manage your garden more effectively. And then at 11.30, our second lecture is with a brother-sister duo, Judy Burris and Wayne Richards, and they're an award-winning, they're award-winning authors of The Life Cycle of Butterflies, and their lecture is going to be on how to attract butterflies to our yards and how to manage our landscapes, not relying so much on the use of chemicals. And then at 1.30, we end the day with the topic that everybody loves, and that is enjoying roses. John Hefner from the Indianapolis Rose Society is going to come and talk about his experiences growing over 300 different kinds of roses and the care and maintenance of those, as well as just the simple joy of growing roses. I think with all the interest in organic gardening now, you are you expecting a pretty big, big crowd then? I think the lectures will be well attended, and everyone is welcome to come. The admission is free. And the lectures are at 9.30, 11.30, and 1.30. All right. The Garden Expo is tomorrow from 9 to 3 at the Tippecanoe County Fairgrounds in Lafayette. And again, it's free. Well, thank you so much, Monique. Thank you for having me. Well, there's a new report about U.S. life expectancy. How old the average person is likely to get next in Health Watch. <laughs>